Uh, good morning and thank you again for coming and speaking to us today. Um, we have a couple of questions we're going to ask you for the Chamber of Commerce YouTube channel. Um, and the first of these is, do you think that the business tax should be fully repealed? And if so, how should that be implemented? As the architect of business tax reform uh, in 2006, uh, beginning to wean ourselves off of the gross receipts tax, I've been a big supporter of continuing to take us off that gross receipts tax and that business tax. And so I've supported uh, the efforts of our business tax advisory committee to uh, get rid of the business tax, as they said before, acts the tax, um, in a way that we can ensure that we not only help create businesses, but we keep the city whole. And I think we're on the right track and uh, look forward to adopting the BTAC recommendations. Obviously, this year we have some significant budget issues at the City of Los Angeles. Uh, very important to the voters, I think, is how will you address the budget imbalance and, in particular, the unfunded pension mandate? As the city controller, I've been working very hard to uh, look at ways in which we can reduce not only waste, fraud, and abuse, but do things differently in the City of Los Angeles. Everything from uh, the performance-based budgeting to looking and sitting down with our labor unions to say how do we ensure that in fact uh, we can meet obligations, be fair to our employees, but at the same time ensure that we are fiscally uh, sound. We are going to work closely with them as we look at uh, the age uh, range necessarily for those that are retiring to look at the double dipping issue to also uh, looking to the future as to ensure that we create an environment um, that we can provide, not only provide for employees, but as importantly that we can meet our financial obligations. And so I'm excited about the future of Los Angeles and excited about the opportunity to say let's look at being business friendly, let's look at being uh, responsible in our pension system and sit at the table uh, with labor unions and business to say we need to address this crisis. And finally, it's tough to get airtime or press in the city of LA even running for mayor. So if you had only one thing that the voters could know about you, what one thing would you like the voters to absolutely be sure to know? I want the voters to know that as the Mayor of Los Angeles. I'm not only going to do the big things, the vision of what we want to see this Los Angeles, a city that we know will be business friendly and have a great environment and have jobs and ensure we're not stuck in traffic. But I think what the people of Los Angeles want is someone who's going to roll up their sleeves and actually manage LA. I cannot tell you how many people have said to me, if you just paid Wilshire Boulevard, I will vote for you for anything. But what that means is that they're concerned about us providing the basic city services, those core services. So the voters of Los Angeles will know that not only do I have the experience uh, and the qualifications to be mayor of Los Angeles, but I know how to manage. I know how to be the executive to say, we're going to make Los Angeles the best city in the world. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you.